So, I'm sure that you may be curious as to what these, the purpose of these poems are. And simply, I chose, based off of my dear friend Henry Wadsworth Longfellow, of course I know him personally, that adoration of nature, and especially the four seasons, is key. I'm not making any political statement because I don't care. I'm not talking about societal issues because I'm detached from society. I've simply transcended above and dwell with nature. So what is important to me? The four seasons. The cycle of life and death and nature, and it's so beautiful. So, let me begin by reading these poems. Um, and unfortunately, um, Henry has suffered death, so that's why his profile picture happens to be his tombstone. I do hope that he gets better soon. Um, tough run of the mill for everyone this year, uh, including the dead ones. So, let us begin. Winter begins the year and lets me live without any fear. The wind is cold and crisp, with light bright like will-o'-wisp. Does anyone remember what that is? Just me? Uh, well, me and my mythology as always. So, I'm not exactly sure where this is. It's a beautiful, snowy hill. Um, the internet brought it to me. Uh, don't explain how I have internet access in a forest. But it was brought to my attention, um, so I simply dubbed this place the Snowy Knoll. Uh, nice little rhyme. Rolls off the tongue. <clears throat> Henry posted, once again, in a span of three minutes. Um, all of them are three minutes, which I really do wonder if he's okay. Uh, Typically, I don't spend time on social media at all. This man unleashed five grand poems in three minutes. But I digress. Spring comes next, and some argue it's... It, <laughs> Let's try that again. Spring comes next, and some argue it is nature's best. Life blossoms anew, and the cold bids us adieu. Um... Nice little rhyming. He even... Don't do that. You stay right there where you belong. Good. So, evidently, he just couldn't think of another word to rhyme, so he had to borrow someone else's language entirely to do that. Um, but proud of him that he pulled it off. Once again, this isn't really a location unless you call a bird and a tree a location, but here's some lovely hashtag plumage power for those, you know. 60s kids out there that still actually live and are not children anymore. Moving on! We have summer. Summer is tertiary, and its luster is quite extraordinary. The heat is intense and the sun is life, free of work and free of strife. Hashtag the source of life, because as you can see, this is an ocean. And the ocean is the source and metaphor for life. Water in general is, but where will you find it else but the ocean? Ah, my favorite month, the autumn. We recede back down the cycle way, winding back the cold away. Color is rich and the air is sweet. But with while leaves crunch under the newborn's feet. Hashtag nature's new duds. Because color has changed. Much like some freaky pop star it decided to undergo some kind of transformation all of a sudden it's a new color in general there's orange and yellow and red everywhere and the reference about the newborns because you know spring and summer you know spring you make children summer that they're, they're not going anywhere they, they were just made um but by the time you get to the fall they might be able to move around or experience the first glimpses of nature if you do things traditionally if you had a child in winter why are you going backwards and now you're forwards stop ruining my surprises i take this very seriously whatever ah uh. But the cycle has completed again. Winter just up around the bend. 
Wait another year until warmth returns, or simply enjoy the sight of frozen ferns. Hashtag same as it ever was. For those in pop culture know-how, that's simply just a reference to how nature is a beautiful cycle that keeps repeating. Um, I thought it was fancy at the time, but I'm sure some of you are rolling your eyes.